What's up guys, welcome back to episode 7 of my Forest Let's Play. Um, I think what we're going to do this episode is we're going to progress with the story a little bit. And to do that we need to gather a few items. So it's a kind of progression slash showing you where some things are. Because uh, there are some collectibles that you can get in this game. Um, you can get a compass and map. Uh, you can get a katana, and like I said last episode, to go down the sinking hole, you need the climber's axe. So what I'm going to do is break this episode up into little bits. I'm going to show you from my base, which is, if you don't already know from previous episodes, is based at the very south of the map. Um, so I'll go to the compass and map first, and then from here we will go through and collect the other items and I will uh, explain to you how to get there from where we finished off last uh, the last collectible thing that we got so from my base at the south you head over here um, past the uh, cave there and you go if you remember from previous episodes the caves that we went that were in this mountain side uh, you basically go past that and just generally head in this direction. Now, this um, cave that we're heading to is actually located right in the middle of uh, a cannibal's uh, camp. So I don't know what we're going to come across, but I'm sure that whatever it is, we can deal with it. Um, if we come across quite a few of them, then I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it to, you know, engage purely because I want to try and get you uh, through this and I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to show you the bits that we need to collect and how to get there. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to keep my eye out for where the base actually is. I'm pretty sure it's just keep going in this direction. Um, but I'm going to try and keep my eye out for it as well while we're going along. Is that it there? I think that's it, yeah. This is it. Right, so let's see if there's any cannibals about. Oh, it looks like they're having a little ritual. Yeah, there's quite a few of them there, man. Looks like another five. Six, oh, no, there's more than five there, definitely. Uh, it's just this this tent here. So there's a circle of tents where the cannibals are like congregating at the minute. And then there's a tent set back from them. And this is where the uh, cave is anyway. So we'll, we'll go down here, leave them guys to it. You know, whatever tickles your fancy. You guys do whatever you got to do. So once you've climbed down this into the cave. I'll get this lit up for you. What you need to do is keep to the right hand side. You see, this is how close I was. If you remember that episode where I actually got captured, I think I was hung up there and dropped down here. I was scared by that guy, but I actually went to the right here past this guy, but you don't want to do that for the compass and map. If you go, you leave him and then go to the left instead head down here, collect these coins. I may have even actually gone through this bit, I, I don't remember, but either way, there's the compass collected. You can see this guy's obviously had an unfortunate situation, and there's the cave map. So it's fairly easy to get to, um, and once you've got it, anytime you're under the, in the caves, the map starts filling itself in, as it does on most games when you're collecting a map. So I'll collect that. We're not going down there. We're going to head off out again. And once we're above ground, I'll show you using the map and compass how to get to the next to the next item. Right, guys, welcome back. Um, obviously, the crazy cannibals have gone. Uh, I've just come back out of the same cave. And what I'm going to do is collect uh, or use the compass and we're going to head from here oh look at that poor sod 
proper weirdos this lot. We're gonna head in the north slash northwest. Oh, all right, guys. What's up? Oh, oh we've got a fire starter in the background. I'm gonna take him out because I don't want to get hit from a distance. Chill your beans, mate. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on all three of them. Let's take this guy out first. Oh, my arm is going right down right now. I need to take this guy out because he will do some damage on me. <laughs> I set his mate on fire. Good job. Good job. Sorted. Burning down their own forest. Looks like his mate's done one. Yay, I'll leave him with you guys. You've got him, haven't you? Right, anyway. So we're heading the north slash northwest direction. And hopefully, very shortly, we'll come across um, a lake. And I think. That might be it down there. So you come onto this ridge here and just keep going in that north direction. And hopefully, just past that boulder in front of us should be another entrance to a cave. And we're going to get the katana. There it is. Going to get the katana and the flashlight from here. So. Down we go. Now, I don't know what's going to be down these caves, but this is a pretty deep one, this one. It's quite pretty down here, though, isn't it, with the colours? Right, so let's get our... Um, sorry. I'll just put the compass away now. Here we go. Let's get this lit up, lit up for you. So when you come down here, you go straight across. Gather up. I'll look at them pictures another day. I want to uh, just do this as a bit of a, a walk through and gathering. Um, oh, that does not sound good, does it? Yeah, I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to uh, get what we need to get. Well, look at this dude. Thankfully, we're not going that down there. We're going down here where these planks are. So stay to the left, go down the planks, and then you want to go right down here. And then carry on straight all the way down. Let me just light this up again. That's better. So you keep going straight all the way down. And you come down here. And let me just make sure there's none of these crazy cannibals about. And there it is. The katana in this poor geezer's back. We'll take that. Take these uh, computer parts because they'll go towards. Something's in that distance, you can tell. I don't see anything though. So we'll collect everything from here. And then I'll show you from here. Oh, look at all that money. When we do get off the island, me and Timmy are going to be all right. I uh, don't need anything to eat just yet. To be honest, I mean, would you want to eat that? How long has it been down here? Look at what it's positioned next to. No, you're all right. Thank you, though. 
Uh, watches go towards bombs as well, but we're already full of them. And then, yeah, we've already got that one. From here, you head over in this direction. Uh, I believe it's straight up. No. Nope. Down here. Here we go. So, there's the dude over there. Straight up here. Let's see what's in these. Cans of pop. Always come in handy. We follow up. Yeah, all cans of pop. And then it's in here. This is where you'll find the torch. And there you go. So, we've now got the torch and the katana, the map and the compass. So, next we are going to... What are we going on to now? The... Some weird noises coming from over there, man. The climber's axe. So, I'll be back with you shortly when we're on the surface at the same point that we entered this cave. See you in a minute. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we've just got out of the hole and we're greeted by this young lady and her man. Uh, so, what better time to try out the katana than now? So, let's go. Where are you going, love? Come on. Wanna, wanna play? Oh. Where's your fella go? Oh, this thing is badass, man. Badass. Ha <laughs> ha. He's not a good fella. He's just run off and left you for dead. There he Look at him. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll just go find me another wife. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, yeah? Right. So, from the... Uh, uh, climb down area, whatever you want to call it. Um, what we need to do is get the compass out again. And we need to continue in that north slash west direction. Uh, and what we're doing is we're heading, if you remember yesterday's episode, after we went down or past the sinkhole, um, there was that tent um, and there was a cave access area there. Now that will take us down into another cave. Uh, and down there is a chainsaw. Uh, so we're going to get that. And then from the chainsaw, we're going to go on to collect the um, climber's axe. So you just keep heading in this general direction. And pretty much it's going to take us right to the edge of the sinkhole. Oh, I tell you what, this uh, katana is one badass piece of uh, equipment. I don't want to be dropping down there if I can help it. There's the crater. Let's just try and slide down here slowly. That's how you navigate down, <laughs> down uh, the sides of cliffs nowadays. And... Here we go. We're at the crater again, and we need to be going round the round the right side of it, and that's where we'll end up at that tent again. And I'll tell you what, I'm still not sure how to unequip the compass yet. Press C, nothing. I'll tell you what I can do, because I know how to... Oh, there we go. It's just L. I was actually going to get my lighter out, but um, it seemed to L seems to cycle through lighter, compass, torch. Um, but if you press L, that'll get rid of it. There's the uh, the north that we went to yesterday, and should see the tent any minute now. But the chainsaw would be good because that's going to help us not only with uh, cutting down trees, but um, I'm pretty sure it'll help against some of the bigger um, mutants slash cannibals, whatever. So once you've gone around the crater, you'll come to this tent and 
down in this cave is the um, chainsaw. So you need to go down quite a way into this cave. Sorry, I'm kind of half listening out just to make sure there's nothing down here as well. Although I feel a bit more protected now we've got this badass katana. And then just keep you just keep heading down all these ropes. There's quite a few. I think there's three three ropes all together. Yeah, here's the third one. Head down this. to like a pool area and what you want to do you see that little notch in the uh, cave area there you want to be diving straight through that so let's go straight under here and out the other side so we've just come from there and you want to just watch yourself here because you've got some crazy babies so Seeing as we've gathered some, let's try, let's try a bit of dynamite, shall we? We know what these babies can do. Holy cow! <laughs> Why have I not used that before? That is awesome. Oh man. Right, let's get down here. Hopefully there's none left. Yes. Uh, yeah, they're all dead. And there is the chainsaw. So let's just make sure there's nothing else around here to collect. And then from here, to go to the um, climber's axe, just head through here and you're part way down the crater now. I'll tell you, it's huge this thing. And just keep to your left, follow it around to your left hand side. Through this section here, collecting booze and stuff along the way. So, I mean, I don't know what's gone on on this island, but it's clear that quite a lot of people have been here because there's tents, there's a lot, a lot of dead bodies. Um, oh, more dynamite. We'll take that. Oh, no, flares, not dynamite. We'll take a look at this. So that's, that's a tree that's right next to our base. I wonder how all this lot ties in. But anyway... So you walk along that ledge there, you come to this bit here, and you just continue through to this bit. Bit of frame drop there. And you come through to another bit of caves. Let's just get our... So, if that cycles through... Why is it not actually letting me select the torch by URL? It's just a lighter. Unless the torch is T. Don't seem to turn it off. But head down. And just watch yourself here because there's some crazies there. Let's have a look. Let's try a bit of this dynamite again because this stuff was good. Why is he not putting the torch on? Oh, sorry, man. I tried getting him to put the torch on so we could see it all. And she went quick. In. in fact, I clicked on it. He just didn't even turn it on. But anyway, when you get to this section, I mean, this game just is 
it blows my mind when I see stuff like this. You can imagine how big this game is, both underground as well as above ground. But you keep to this left on this ledge all the way along. Just watch yourself because it does push you out to the side. And then just watch yourself here because uh, there's a drop down bit. Jump over that. Keep going along. Sorry, it's quite loud. I have turned it right down. But for some reason, the waterfalls are really loud. Sounds like one of them big dudes is round here. Alright, mate. Got a katana now. I ain't so scared of you anymore. Come on, then. See what you've got. Oh, there's some babies there. Don't like the babies. Where is he? <laughs> oh, that is awesome. He's just jumped, he's just run right off the edge of that plane. That other cannibal. Oh, that is amazing. He's somewhere down there. Right. I don't fancy taking the babies on with a katana, so I'm just going to back up a little bit. And go with a trusted dynamite, because I do like the look of this from what's happened before. Let's get this lit. Loft that in there. Quickly get the torch out. Kaboom! No longer baby, just baby parts. And get the katana out again, just in case. Look at this. I mean, it looks awesome. It really does. And once you've got round there and you've killed the babies, there is a climbing axe. So we're pretty much set up with the little bits of items that you can collect now. So this episode, we've got the compass, the map, the katana, the torch, the chainsaw. Uh, that's where the gas come in. Last episode, if you remember, I saw the gas, uh, the jerry can, uh, the chainsaw, and now the climbing axe. So we're pretty much set up now to go down into the sinkhole, which I think we will do uh, at one point very soon, because I think we, we should start progressing and looking to actually save Timmy. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. In fact, actually, let me show you some of this stuff. Chainsaw. Run, 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 run. Brilliant. I like that. Uh, what else do we get? The climbing axe. So there are parts like the sinkhole where it shows you you can use this. And I mean, this dude is like one of the hardest blokes that I know. He climbs the wall with one climbing axe. But check this out. He can hold a torch in his hand at the same time. He's literally jumping and using that climbing axe in one arm. The strongest bloke I know. It's amazing. So that's the climbing axe. What else have we got? Torch you've seen, katana you've seen, map compass you've seen. So I think that's pretty much it. So hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let's finish it with a katana in hand. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have... Please drop it a like. Um, Facebook, Twitter pages, links are in the description. Uh, if you've not seen some of my other episodes, I do recommend you go, go back and check them out because it kind of does little stages of, of uh, exploration, uh, building. So there's lots to, to see and it's very good for people who are new to the game. So slap a like. Share it with your mates, and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy. Uh -huh.